today we are going to have something done that we've never had done before. Now we're getting personal. My, wait a minute, well, I'll, wait, I'll wait till she's done. I think it's okay. And that's one of the things as class A owners we have to deal with this, this huge windshield. I don't know if you guys have ever done this before. Um, I'm not that familiar with the process. This is leftovers, look, look at that. I mean, you see that? Not only is it leftovers for dinner, but it was also leftovers for lunch. Something that you should probably learn, every RV should learn. All right, I feel like Al Pacino in Godfather 3. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. I know we told you guys in our previous video that we were done with TTO, but because of our bad experience at Southern Palm, Katrina? Yeah. Southern Palm R Encore RV Campground. I will not say R-E-S-O-R-T. Anyway, we're back at TTO on our way here. I'm gonna show you what happened. All right, Katrina can zoom in on that. Can you come in on that, babe? Can you guys see that? Right there. Okay, it could be much worse. What happened is as we were driving along the road um, of the highway, there was a dump truck merging on the road and I did my best to try to hurry up past them. Sure enough, before I could get past them, a rock came up, hit that, caused an issue. So now we have to figure that out, how we're gonna deal with that. And that's one of the things as class A owners, we have to deal with this, this huge windshield. So now eventually we're gonna have to have this windshield replaced and our insurance will cover it. Let's come out here and show you it's right there. I, th I guess we're just going to go with safe life. And we're not going to claim this on insurance. Are we going to claim it as on insurance? I haven't been able to call yet. Uh, so I don't know if it's, if it's worth claiming on insurance. Anyway, here's Tucker. Oh, thank God we got away from Southern Palms RV campground. I hated that place. I could not sit outside. Let me give you my review of Southern Palms Encore. It's terrible. It's not pet friendly and they don't have poop bags. And we all know how important it is to have poop bags. Here's the spot. I'm gonna take Tucker for a walk and we got some things coming up we need to get done with the rig we're going to share those things with you um, some things that i think as uh rv owners you should have done you may not think about it other than when you dump your tanks but we'll share that with you it's going to be good fun exciting stuff i'm happy to be here i'm happy to be set up and uh Let's make the best of these 10 days before we head back up to Maryland and spend time with our family and our new grandbaby that's yet to be born. Another glorious day here in Florida, in Claremont. I think it's Claremont. It's not Orlando, even though it's called Thousand Trails Orlando. Got the ACs on. Things have warmed up a little bit. We're a little bit closer to uh, returning back to Maryland for a few weeks before we start our epic adventure. So if you hear the AC noise, I apologize. I mean, look, I love you guys, but I'm not going to turn the ACs off. For, well, maybe, you know what? Maybe I will turn the AC off. Let me uh, let me turn it off real quick. I don't know if that's any better. And I, and I don't even know that it matters because I really don't know until I put it into the editing and then by then you're like, yeah. But anyway, I'm just sitting here taking a break from work, which is most of the time I've been here working, not complaining. It is what it is. One of the things I just thought I'd get with you guys and check with you, Katrina and I don't cook a lot neither one of us really like to cook but we don't eat out i would love to eat out but the way things are going right now it's can you be a you know that's it could be expensive right what we do and i'm asking you guys please let me know 
we will make or Katrina will make a dinner one night and it's usually enough food to last us for two maybe three days so it's a decent way for us and since it's just the two of us she can make you know a, a lot of chicken and rice or cheese and all that and it's good for two three days that's what we've been doing lately to try to cut back on the cost of things do you guys do that you know anything we could do to save money on food so we can use it to purchase adult beverages i'm sure you understand you, you you're okay with that right you can get, this is leftovers look at look at that i mean you see that not only is it leftovers for dinner but it was also leftovers for lunch so i could get a lunch a dinner and maybe a, a lunch tomorrow so i could get this for like three meals so that's pretty good and we don't do the whole meal prep thing that a lot of you guys do which is great oh you know stuff's fantastic we don't do that kind of stuff but i just thought i'd take a few minutes and take a break from editing and working katrina's outside um she was outside let me see if i can see her she gets funny and she gets mad at me when i do this for saying but you know you ladies sometimes you don't want to be recorded totally get it us guys we don't care at least i don't think we care so she's out there right now let me, I'm gonna, let me see if i can do this look guys see her look look maybe we can if we watch long enough we can get her scratching her butt or something what do you think look at her she doesn't look Oh, she's scratching herself. Uh oh. Now we're getting personal. My, wait a minute. Well, I'm, I wait till she's done. I think it's okay. Now I'm gonna tap on the window. Watch. <laughs> she's, she's saying I can't see me. Uh, be careful what you do out there, babe. I don't want to have to record it. I like to start trouble like that. You know what I mean? I gotta figure out a way to get that past her in editing because when I edit and I put a video together and I edit. I run it through the boss. She has to check everything, every little thing, and it better be up to KB standards. If not, I gotta get rid of it. So this part, I am not going to let her see because I gotta sneak it in. Good morning, Getaway Nation. Today, we are going to have something done that we've never had done before. We're gonna have our tanks cleaned out. So we have uh, Jeff and Tina here who are gonna come over here and give our tanks a deep cleaning. I don't know if you guys have ever done this before. Um, I'm not that familiar with the process. We're gonna have um, Jeff explain it to us and uh, we'll share that information with you guys and let you know what it's about. So we are Jeff and Tina of Adventuring with Jeff and Tina and Clean Tank of Eastern Florida. And we're here to do your tanks and get them all I love how you clean. just put our name and our, I know. our well, channel. You know, you nice. Do Nicely it. done. Nicely you done. Do it. She's that got it down. Right I'm nothing if not smooth. Yeah. Okay. Boy, that was smooth. I like that. <laughs> So um, basically what we're gonna do today is we're gonna empty your tanks. We're gonna, Jeff here is the expert in getting into Absolutely. the tanks. Um, he is going to hydrojet the tanks, um, basically using a higher pressure, lower water, uh, 1500 PSI, totally safe for the tanks. We're gonna break up any debris that's in there. We're gonna get that out by reverse flushing. Um, and we're gonna get you squared away. Okay, And then awesome. you get graded on all this. Awesome. We're gonna see how the two of you guys are doing. All right, all right. <laughs> and we we'll, we're gonna discuss just how bad the tanks were when we're done. So I think what we'll do is after this is done, I'll just have them go kind of give an, an overview of everything and how important it is to have this done from time to time. So we'll talk about that. We'll share that with you after they're finished with the process. So how are we make it out, guys? Good. Well, I'm impressed. We oh, are really? impressed. Seriously? Your black yeah. tank was way better than your gray. I saved some footage for you that you can look at later. Awesome. Um, but your your gray tank is common what you find in grays. Okay. But overall, great cool. job on your tank. Awesome. Like, All right. Really great job. All right. Cool. I, and look, I'm not going to tell you guys I don't know what I'm doing. All I do is just flush it and clean it and put some treatment in it, usually happy camper. So that's really actually good to hear. I gotta do a better job on the gray tanks though. And I think that's probably something that many of us 
take for granted is the gray tank because we're so focused and worried about the black tank for obvious reasons that we have a tendency to overlook the gray tank which can get greasy and smelly and every bit as bad so anyway that's pretty good to hear here is your little report, which really is just a... <laughs> we got a report card. <laughs> <laughs> we got a report card. You guys did great. Okay, so how did we do? You guys did really good. Okay. Really cool. good. I mean, it's... Mm. The gray tank is worse than black, but okay. then again, you have to remember a lot of food, hair, soap, scum, toothpaste, shaving cream, all goes yeah. down the sink. Do you think that's because people have a tendency to overlook the gray. They're more concerned about the black tank and they kind of let the gray slide. They do and they also love to keep the gray tanks open because the common thought is to, you know, keep your gray tanks open because the soapy water is washing it out. But that's not true. The soapy water does run out, but anything that has any weight to it is getting left behind. Hair, mm. soap scum. Think about bar soap. It yeah. starts out as a solid. It ends up as a liquid and it turns into a solid when it's in your tank. Yeah, what are the grades? Here we go. B for the black, which is hard to get. Yes. I'm just telling you. All right. All right. Good and job, Chris. a C on the gray. Okay. There you go. All right. We'll take okay. it. We'll up our game on the gray. Watch. I, I'll tell you, I will. I'll, I'll fix that. There you so. go. Something that you should probably learn, every RV should learn, is how to back flush the grays. You buy a flush. Flush King, Voltaire, Voltaire Flush, Flush King. King. Okay. You can flush, everybody can learn how to do the black, right? They got that port. Yes. Well, you can flush your gray also. Mm -hmm. If you get, if you get the. Uh, so it's a Volterra Flush King right. and any kind of water meter that you like, you want to measure the water okay. that's going into your RV. So you can back flush your grays that way. It's great. You just fill it up to 80% capacity right. of your tanks okay. and you flush it right out and it's going to keep the sensors clear. It's going to alleviate some of the odor and uh, it's, and if you use it for your black, the black is going to be great because you're going to be sending a three inch wall of water across the bottom of your tank. And currently everyone's RV only has the flush port that does the top one third of the tank with hose pressure. This pressurizes your tanks. If you're full time, you should be doing it every six to eight weeks is what Jeff and I tell people, the Flush King type of flushing. If you're part time, you should still have it because it's gonna help you out to keep those tanks from building up solids. Okay. There you go. We got some valuable info there for you guys. We wanna thank uh, Jeff and Tina for coming out and Absolutely. cleaning out the tanks for us. This is awesome. And we'll keep you guys updated on how everything works. How about that, guys. Katrina? I'll, I'll be sure to uh, let Katrina, I'll teach K Katrina everything. She needs to learn how to clean the tanks. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, might want guys. to have a glass of Moscato before you do that. <laughs> All right. Or two. Thanks, guys. We there really appreciate go. it. Thank you, guys. Let's kind of wrap up Florida. Okay. Let's We're going to wrap it. up Florida. Now, I know in our last video, we talked about we weren't coming back to TTO. And I didn't think we would because the plans was to come back to, the plan was to come back to TTO for five days. And to me, it wasn't worth it. But because we had a bad experience at the campground, we decided to uh, change. And that's life, that's RV life, that's what you do. So we, we came back to CTO. We did. And it was a good thing because we were able to spend time with Mike and Susan, Laura Howard and Pierre, Caitlin. Uh, everyone. Yes. All, all of you, we, we, we loved it and uh, it was worth, it made it worthwhile. To me, I five did. days is not worth it but 10 days. To me, five days is still worth it. It just depends on where you're going, you know? And we do enjoy it here. And every time we come here, we meet new people, so. So this awesome. is a Florida wrap up. We're done with Florida for the year. We are done with Florida. And I think we're done with Florida for at least a year and a half. Ooh, gosh, is it gonna be that long? I think you're right. Maybe. Yeah. So we're thinking about November, maybe November of 2025. That's crazy. It is going to be no. It's either going to be October or November. Uh, yes. I am kind of sad to go because I do enjoy Florida and I do enjoy this environment. And it kind of, we kind of got off to a rocky start this year because it was cold, but now it's so nice and warm and now we're getting ready to go. Yeah. Now the, so. the warm weather's kicking in, the pool weather, the beach weather's kicking in. And guess what? Back to Maryland we go yes. for the birth of our third granddaughter and then back on the road for Alaska. Wow. What are you thinking about that? And we, we, we'll do a video about this coming up. We'll, we'll discuss this, but we'll kind of just gloss over it, if you will. Is that, is that right? Gloss over? Gloss over. Ooh, Which is kind of just a, a brief summary of. Okay, that's better. That, yes. a brief summary. Yes. Of Alaska. I, I kind of, I'm anxious mm. and nervous at the same time, but at the, also excited. I don't think I'm anxious 
I'm, I'm a little nervous. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. And I think more of my nerves is, I'm not really nervous about going because I think it's a great adventure. That doesn't bother me. I'm more nervous about being away from family for that long. I don't like to be away for that long. That's going to be tough. Yeah. And uh, Getaway Nation, you guys are going to come along for the ride. Uh, we're going to count on you guys for any insight you can give us for those of you in Getaway Nation who have been to Alaska. Leave some comments down below. Share that information with us. We got the basics covered in terms of we have four wheels and an RV, and that's pretty much it. That's not true. We have, we have an idea of what area we're going to when, and we have one reservation for Banff, and that's it, because most of our time is going to be boondocking. I've talked about this before in other videos. I, 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 get far, I hate to leave, because you get to a site and you get set up. Right. But at the same time, once you get on the road, it's exciting to think about what's happening, especially when you're going someplace new and someplace different, someplace you've never been before, because you're like, oh man, this is pretty cool. See, and I love travel days. I might be the only one out there. I really enjoy travel days. I like to see different parts of the country. I've always been someone that liked to go by car or train. I'm not, I don't like to fly, but I like travel days because I like just like going down the road it's very peaceful it's very calming for me and i get to see things i've never seen before yeah i and no i totally i totally agree with you it, it it is a different type of anxiety a different type of nervousness and i just thought about something so exactly. in the past chris has always drove because of having the class a's but now with this trip and as using the little class c and i get to drive that means that if i see something and i want to pull over i get to pull over and he didn't have anything to say about it. No, because we're in a caravan and we're gonna to stay together. We're gonna to travel together. Well, I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about before we get there. Because uh, we do okay. have That's fine. quite a few weeks before that. And if we, if I see a roadside stand or I see something that interests me, I'm gonna be like Zoop. Well, being that we're traveling in April and May in the Midwest and the yeah. upper north, I don't know if there's gonna to be too many roadside stand set up so i don't think i have to worry about that i don't know that. you never know i really do hate to leave florida because i love florida i, I really do i do as well but now that i'm starting to see our friends leave florida and go on other journeys around the states it makes me feel like okay maybe it's time to go so we're saying goodbye to florida yes. we're saying goodbye to tto for an extended period of time barring some unforeseen crazy circumstance. Right. It's gonna be well over a year and that's fine, it's okay, because that means whole new sites, whole new adventures, uh, new friends, new opportunities, new experiences, and that's what this RV lifestyle is all about. For those of you who are considering it or those of you who are just getting into it, this is what it's about. It's exciting, it's fun, and it's despite what you may see and despite the negative stuff, the stuff that drama, it really is exciting and it really is fun and it really is something you should consider doing. Don't let the um, naysayers. The na no, I don't know the na I don't want to say naysayers, but the doom and gloom people who make you mm. believe that it's terrible, everything breaks down all the time. And we'll do a video about that one day about how we've been fortunate and lucky in all our years of traveling. Knock on wood. I, I I would like to think we're the exception I mean, no we're not the exception we're the norm i think we are but if something does happen while we're on the road we will show you that yeah. because hopefully it doesn't but if it does we'll show you we'll show you that uh, things don't always go as planned but hopefully we won't have much of that right it's a good it's a good way to live life it's a good way to travel that's right we love our country we love you guys we, we love america and it's just so much to see and do and to just embrace it, take it all in. Yeah. It's just uplifting. It is. And we want to share it with you guys, especially those of you in, in Getaway Nation. We want to share it with you and let you know that you can do this. It can be done. It's more good and fun than bad. That's right. Because it's hashtag positive RV living. Yes. Yes. All right. That'll wrap up our time in Florida. What do we say? Any, Any day you can get away is a great day. That's right. We hope to see you guys on the road and we hope you guys will continue to come along with us. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. 
We appreciate the love and support so many of you have thrown our way. We're thankful and appreciative, and we hope to continue on this journey, and we hope you guys will continue to go along with us on this journey, because it's great. Did I say it was great already? How many times did I say that? It's great. I gotta let you know. You guys take care, we'll see you. Bye guys. <laughs>